It's a little after 5 a.m. on Sunday morning, race day. Sitting in the driveway, getting ready to back out for the drive up to Indianapolis. Doesn't look very promising today. 80 plus percent chance of rain. Looks like this is going to be a wet one and planning for a return trip tomorrow. It's 7.30 and I've caught the back of the line into the speedway. Uh, actually sitting on the bridge over the river right now. I'm just approaching Lafayette Road and hopefully we'll be parked in the next uh, two to three hours. Ten minutes of eight and have already reached the railroad bridge. That's an extremely good sign as the track is maybe a half mile up on the right. Got a handful of walkers going in. Uh, the forecast Sounds like there's rain right around the start of the race and then maybe a window that we can get it in. So hopefully, uh, hopefully get to actually see the race today and not have to come back up tomorrow. Driving in is always a good opportunity to do some people watching. The walk-in crowd's a little slow. It's a little bit early right now, but already a steady line four hours before the start of the race. People walking in. And obviously making better time than me in the car. 8.30 and just about to turn into the speedway. So extremely good time. Not a huge surprise considering the threat of rain today. That tends to slow the arrival of the crowds. But still always very exciting to actually turn into the speedway. Hi there. Hello. All good? Great, thank you. So right now we're going under the short chute at the south end of the track between turns one and two. Straight ahead is the museum. Don't know if it'll pick up on the video or not, but a lot of the uh, pace trucks are turning into the into the speedway now. Uh, looks like these are the ones that they'll be taking VIPs around and the drivers around to do introductions at the speedway. They've got racks in the bed of the truck for people to hold on to while they're being toured around the speedway. So the routing is down the middle of the track. This is actually the road course that we're running. We're going, we're going the opposite direction. Uh, the bridge here is a pedestrian bridge for people to walk over during the race. But this is actually part of the road course that was built for the F1 series back around 2000. 9 a.m. and have parked. So basically four hours from home to the infield. Time to check out what's going on. This is about all I'll ever see of or care to see of the snake bit, but there it is. This was a surprise. I've been to Indy 35 times and only seen the Pipers on parade a couple of times. Before the race, the Gordon Pipers lead the Borg Warner Trophy around the speedway before delivering it to the start-finish line. For my money, the Borg Warner Trophy is as iconic as any trophy in sport right up there with the Stanley Cup. The face of each winner is cast onto the trophy after the race each year. The garage area is always a hub of activity with people outside the gate, inside the gate, and overlooking from the paddock to watch race prep. Stay away. 
one cool thing at Indy is you can walk out onto the track pre-race. These shots show the front stretch and turn one. For a modern racetrack, Indy is considered very flat with only 9 degrees of banking. The walk between the garage area and pit road is always a buzz of activity on race day. It's usually more crowded than this, uh, but the lack of crowd made this a fairly pleasant walk. Gasoline Alley is the entrance to the track. All cars, drivers, and team members pass through this gate to reach the track. And it's always crowded with fans looking to get a glimpse of the cars and some of the celebrities. The Speedway has done a lot the last 20 years to make the paddock area very fan friendly. There's a lot to eat, shop, and see in the shadow of the control tower. Flags are everywhere on the infield, but this particular one matched my t-shirt. We knew it was coming. It was just a matter of when it would get here. This is the worst sight for a race fan, the pouring rain, but there is optimism that there's a break in the rain after this clears and they'll be able to get the track dry. So. Looks like it's going to be a couple of hours of napping in the car and then uh, hopefully up into the stands this afternoon. First look from my new seats. The last 10 to 15 years have been in turn one. Turn four is new for me and I'm excited with this first look. Anyone spending time at a racetrack has seen plenty of track dryers. No way today's race happens without these guys. IMS does a good job of entertaining fans prior to the race. The ceremonies in the last half hour are among the best and most moving in sports. We did have an Elmo sighting, which after a four hour rain delay and a pre-race full of activities, enough, let's move on was the perfect sentiment. The 21 gun salute and then the following playing of taps gets me every year. 350,000 people fall silent to pay respect for two centuries of fallen soldiers. This was the first flyover I've seen in about 15 years. Very cool.
And then the most exciting moment of the day, the start of the race. Kyle Larson knew restarts would be a challenge for him. His botched restart early in the race left the field six wide heading onto the front stretch. This next clip shows how you watch the race at Indy. The track is far too large for you to be able to see everything. Those video boards didn't exist 25 years ago. So you watch the cars pass in front of you, then you watch the video board until they come around and you watch them in front of you again. next shot is extremely understated, but very important. The race is official with the completion of the 101st lap. This meant we were not coming back on Monday. We didn't have any accidents in front of us in turn four this year, but Ed Carpenter came past after a wild spin on the back track. The end of the race was amazing. These guys do not get the credit they deserve for how good they are and the risk they take during the race.
My new seat is in the next to last row in the Northwest Vista. So after the race, when the people behind me left, I stepped up to the top row and got this shot of the Exodus leaving the track. I always wait until I can walk all the way down the steps from my seat. But as you can see, the stands are clearing out pretty quick after the race. They always say cameras make scenes look lighter than they are in person. I can attest. The lights on the main stretch seem much brighter to the naked eye. This is just the aftermath. I'm walking back to my car and this is all the garbage left over from the tailgating. Not to mention the mud from the rain we had. Feel for the crews that have to come clean this up tomorrow. Eight forty, and just getting on the end of the line to leave the speedway. See how long it takes to get out and get home. It is quarter after one on Monday morning, and race day ends where it began back in the driveway. <laughs>